Rice going to be starting off that Trailblazer spot. Good information that two players are trying to play aggressively in towards the showers and stay straight on that jet. Not slowing down at all. Good opening with the Sheriff. Get away with oh, exactly. the as well. Uh, Need a swing from Paul v. Save managing to get inside though, just down to 3 HP is the concern. And look how slow 10 star are on this this push up from B. They've been so careful. The spikers have been planned. Caught off by a flank, but at least that spike will go down. Now we look towards the retake for 10. Oh, these toxic clouds up and just really disallowing map control. Safe is going to be that first player tested, swinging around. Cray immediately getting a fight onto Doma, who's able to take that fight down. Just Leo stuck in towards Lamps now with the time taking on the spike. Finally, the defuse starting to be tapped. It's being held around the corner. Leo in with one. Defuse to half for Cray as he's trying to pull through with the pistol. Win, and he's got the headshot. Back to the defuse, and it's close, but it's the pistol for 10 star. He should be doing that anyway. Let's see if the Bulldog could do it when that was buffed, but Paul V, still with that Spectre, Ooh. still looking good, and what? this is still just a bonus round for 10 star. They were able to actually just push in and take fights with Guild. Now it's a bit of a staggered approach with a short control. Snakebite's in a nice spot to at least scare away Brody, but this three players all here, 10 star have more than prepared for them. What a start, man. Well, Brody on the double kill, the spe Flawless on a bonus round like this against a team like Guild? This might not be as cut and dry as people might think. Yeah, Leo trying to hold back, and Ulti comes in with the- um, I would say sheep probably make more money on average, so probably. I mean, whales probably alone has more sheep. Uh, and a lot of countries don't. I'd say so. Maybe that's something you could look up, Brian. Improve your knowledge bank for that. But uh, Guild looking for their first round. Safe has the Blade Storm out. They have got the spike down again. This was Sheriff's a very important round. Got up as the Blade Storm goes around. Go from Safe down onto what Brody. 10 star gonna be looking for this retake. The time will start to tick. Domus come in with a headshot and now they're straight on towards the defuse, sticking it through. Oh, XMS is about to steal it away from them. He's held off and left it half, but he's got himself killed. This time is going to be close as he hunkers down for the defuse and he's got it. Oh, what a nightmare for Guild. That looks like an absolute miracle round for them. I look forward to seeing how this is gonna pan out, but oh, XMS from zero to zero. And towards this A site, but one of them, I mean, just use that TP, here comes the A play, this could work for Gil. Now if the operator's got anything to say about it, all of this grab metal, it's a nice spot to hang from, but surely this trailblazer is going to catch him, he has to dash up and get out. Oh, oh nearly, nearly caught by Paul being on the ball back, but he has the balls to repeat into the heavens fight just before that cosmic device comes up. No one goes down though, there's Leo Hunter's Fury that has got two out of play. Let's drop the numbers back into the 3v3 for the post plan. Oh, Makes quite down some more utility. It's quite safe. Just Ooh. getting a peek to get some information at the very least. But Paul V's prepared that time. This bike is hit now on the defense. Leo is a good recon. That it's actually going to catch the player that's trying to defuse the spike. Now up to Brody. He's going to try and feed out some of more of that utility. Catches Leo is trying to push it a bit closer. Time really isn't on the side. Neither is the hell for Brody and called him in. That's a good bit of information and map control. That's going to put pressure here onto Guild. Made a lot of space and gets the collateral. That's just the perfect position that you could be in. And the Viper's pick going up is good, but still, at this point, Texas 4 HP. A stray bullet being thrown through into this smoke is enough to kill him and drop this ultimate. So Coldementa needs to be careful, especially if he's considering to try and push up a bit more aggro. When you have all of this utility, look at where the silver is on attack. He's ready for the shock dart lineups. This is just a very passive hold, expecting some people from 10 star to come in from behind. I'll, a 10 star will get one look at this site though. I don't know if they're going to feel too confident about getting this round went over the line. Old Amenta comes in with one. Cray able to follow through. That defuse is being stuck, and these lineups are there from Trex, but will it be the uh... Luckily, Leo comes through. Over down. Cray off the fight as well. And that is three players staying fully commit to this. It's on the nice angle. That's a much better peek. And actually, the pistols are working out. How is that allowed to happen? I have no idea. Oh, Ten surely stop. After, <laughs> it's the fact that after Doma, like, failed on it so much that it's still going. And even 
the ultimate there getting some stuff. Trex is on his own in a one versus two. The spike is in a slow orb, and both these ten star players are holding these angles together. One enemy oh, it's the snake bites that start to isolate them. They can't repeat, they can't play off of each other, and suddenly it's turned into a one versus one for Trex. And he nearly comes away with a pick. Brody down low on health around the left side of the corner. Trex doesn't know where he could be. He could have played passive, relocated around the back of the Juna Cam, but with 30, 30 seconds, seconds left, <laughs> Trex feels like he can hold, and he's got it done. Oh. Luckily, sold him to trying to stay with him. Tony got first, didn't in long, he told him to do the headshot, traded out by Craig, who actually stands tall for the double. Rust able to trade out with that, and we go to the 3v3. Speakers out in play. Econ Darts just there to confirm Five the one play is in heaven. So what are 10-star going to do? They're going to try and stack up, get the operator into a different spot. Maybe that was the plan from Paul V. Make them think that he's actually a bit more narrow playing from metal, but in fact, he's got a wide swing with his help when he can come home. Oh, now Paul V down into the 1v1 with Rust's pick. And, oh, out to the left. Paul V with the 3k. Three-man early setup here for 10 Start on A. Looks like these guy new lights. Oh, it's gonna be a crash from both sides uh, as they go forward. It's safe able to come out with a double. There's the cosmic divide up as well. And that's the A site completely under wraps for now. I mean that was just a safe difference there. Uh, realistically, Tenstar had a bit of an advantage with the players that they had available. And they just completely get spray transferred. Holvi now wanted to put the game on his back this time. Killstopper comes oh. through to catch Cold Dementor. Wasn't sure if he had his position given away. He was a bit oblivious to it, but now two players over in for the raise. In a three versus two. Let's see if that safe distance or difference is going to happen again. Safe trying to come around the back side. They have no idea. X messages and they go down if they line up for two. Safe is looking for a five. In fact, he has to get all five. Slot oh. forward, tailwind forward. Let's go out and he's got it all five. And Safe will pick up the first highlight play for Ryan. You know, has to do a lot of default. It's mainly been he's full execute out of spawn. It's so good to watch. Seeker forward. No much already you can be the trying get around the back side and bring it down quick enough before he kills his teammate but luckily that three versus three retake from 10 star from the opposite side of the map now now they get it standing ahead and recon full available but destroyed immediately as rust playing from elbow is the first player of contact he's making this a little bit difficult this round and they can't get on towards the site rust in with one but that time it is gone as Gil just had so much there from Safe Tree trying to get out towards A. Follow up TP right is through. Does that try and convince the rotation? They swing out B to pick up. Paul Big taking a bit of a, a cheeky peek, really. Bit of a panic with how much utility was used in response. But Trex not only getting a kill, gets that Viper's kit in such a difficult spot. Cray, he's been amazing to watch so far this game with some of the ideas that he's had. He is not afraid to play in and play close, but he's already low health. He was in that Viper's pit for quite some time. Didn't take much for Trex to get his second. Uh, it's all sprinkled. Oh, please. And it's taking him down as Trex. The, the end of the VCT qualifier season last year. He wasn't really able to, to push through by the start to their first half showing. See if they get off to a good start with this pistol as they lead showers out towards the A site. Rotation is coming through from Kill. They've got the numbers here on Trex. So cold 10 stars, the, the sting out of the attack has been slowed completely. They're going to try and split from two sides, but again, Trex shutting down another one. The numbers are just dropping so quickly. And they don't to worry about the flank now coming around the back side. Safe up on top, brings down Brody. Luckily, XMS is there for the trade, but are they even going to get close to a spike plant in this pistol? They're being pushed on two fronts, and Cray is locked behind the walls. He's got to really rely on XMS to get him out of this position. I don't know if XMS is going to be able to do it. Now Cray left. down, Spike in a spike difficult position a. to recover in the 1v3. Oh, but XMS in with a 4k, and suddenly just one more. Uh, but they want to do it without spending too much utility. And also, uh, <laughs> they just got bowled over. Ten seconds left. Suddenly, 10 star are in a perfect position, Stop not only for the tank, but look at the round Stop potentially here for 10 star. Two players left for Guild. This should not have happened. This should not have even come close. But Guild suddenly capitulate, and 10 star with a spike down now stand with a two-man advantage. Russ starts his 
Steps forward with a Spectre in hand, his teammate behind him with the right four killed. Finding kills now with Leo and Russ doubling up. Another one found and suddenly it's just XMN working for the clutch again, uh, but he is caught again. around the backside. Russ brings him down in the one hey. They're able to make their way through. The Orbital Strike does come in in the nick of time. Bobby's trying to use some of the boosts to at least get into a nice position, but he gets caught in the smoke, in the spray by Trex, who's continuing on. He's one all the way from Hammer the Viper's pit. Oh, tries forward, Brody, trying to get around and towards Lamps as they move forward. This time is starting to take. Do they try and drop back in that TP or are they just stuck right now into towards Lamps? All it comes down to is if Guilds can hold them in this position, they are trapped. And that's exactly where they want them. They've taken down the two remaining players. Spike tries to get over towards the Victor, but they've got these wings on lockdown. Oh, there goes the Spike Curse. Says so trying to dodge him. Oh, he needs to be careful. He's about to get caught. And that's what will happen. The Bulldog snaps him up. And that is saved down with the Operator out of play. Russ now needs to start to look to his hold. Can he do it? Can he hold on to the site? Not for long. XMS able to swing onto the headshot from Hooker. That snake bite forcing his positional change. And it's the remaining players onto the site with the spike. Although, the defensive players are killed. are quite close and ready for this retake. Really good seekers to get in on the site, the timing wise. It really made Guild's life uncomfortable. Maybe they didn't respect it enough when it came to the ult. Really now, these retakes from Guild have been pretty decent for what we've seen. Brody on a bit of a closer angle. The recon dart isn't going to quite catch him. It's going to get deleted anyway. So, these Leo shock darts are always something to be scared of as much as his aim. And just as I say that, every other member of Guild. Cleans up the kills that they need to. Most out of his teammate, but that Trailblazer has taken him away. So that has left Trex and Hooker alone. That setup that was strong no longer is. But Pursuer immediately being used up here by Leo. Just trying to slow and delay the attack forward. He's been able to pick out one kill. And that has actually equalized the numbers in this 3 versus 3. You mentioned the retakes are oh. revealing area. Yeah, it's still 3 versus 3. It can certainly shift. His safe is still alive and up with his Blade Storm. He's going to try and come through the side of the Viper. Been spotted the barrel doma certainly is going to go down and now cray is he the player to try and pull this one through he's starting to rattle down from above but it's just one for one brody now moving forward caught by safe the defuse being held okay. it's gonna be close but they will not have it it's another round for the judge yeah the, the weapons here just aren't going to help at all they're going to try forward in towards the site, Brody. And that's picked up the first cold Amenta down as he tries to loop out of Hooker. Russ tries his best, but when that Sky Smoke comes up, he's just locked in behind it. He can't really do a whole lot. And that rotation does Sky not planted. come back here from Gil to try and get back over towards the site. But Ten Star locking the spike plant and should be locking in the round. They've been trying to play towards Hooker for the pick with the Sheriff, but it's an absolutely unreasonable round here from Gil to start things off. It is Russ with the headshot. Okay, Russ with a follow-up. Tip in with one on the charge. And suddenly a two versus three. Guild have a shot at winning this round. Leo come forward. Sheriff Hill. And that's all on Pomovy to start the show. He's trying to carry his team through, but it will not happen. I'll bother with it. And they could just crunch on in. This guild, we sort of expected them to look a lot stronger, and it was an exciting roster. But the way that they're playing some of these rounds is un if it's been so confident throughout this entire game so far. Two of the soldier picks, the aggressive points for the challenge. Red's attempting to come through, and Cray will defend the resurrection. Kill off the Leo, call the Manta though, in with a... They just got the perfect timing to get on by. But they're now overthinking it going back. Remaining. Oh yeah. no. Spike down. And the Defender spike spawn. is going to go down on the way back. Called a mentor. And has dropped their options to just one. It is Paul V. The only way they stay alive is if he wins this one left. versus three. Drops down from heaven. Didn't oh, even no. see Cold Amenta in position. Oh, there is certainly going to be the play. But this, like you said, this Hall's play is so important because it stops that rotation. But luckily, it is so quick from Doma to bring down Trex. Leo's just trying to cause problems. He's just trying to keep players away. Focused on him for as long as possible. But he's gone down pretty quickly as well. Now suddenly 10 star have all of the advantages and it's just down to Rush to try and pull off the pistol and he's not able to get it done. Well, Snake Bite trying to force him into the wide fight track. Not with that aggression. Cray runs right in towards the sheriff. That we're able to come out on top. It is gonna be a 4v3 straight off the bat guild holding the advantages. 
As they walk their way towards the site, they've already got it. Spike will be planted, and we look Spike to Ten Star to pull off a retake. This time in a three versus four on the A side. They're down a player for this one, Ryan. Nice early force up, and it's actually working out perfectly. XMS in onto the back of boxes. Polvi last alive. Patient certainly will be able to gleam some info at least for his teammates. We'll see if he can get any damage done enough for the kill. XMS about to peek into him, and the fight will ensue. XMS unable to really leave that position, and so safe still has him trapped up in heaven. And Toxic Screen starts him up now for this retake attempt. As 10 stars start to run it back, Paul V and Cray with important kills as Drex has finally arrived to the party. Toxic Screen up as they dive through it, 10 star find the kills back, and suddenly a 2 versus 4 for Guild, who are currently down the players, but they've got the sight. And no Fragment time. trying to put pressure, but the time it is ticking, and Guild are just holding on to it. 10 star had the numbers, they just did not have the time, and Guild just delay them long enough. The drone through the mid doorway, through the double doors, Safe now feels comfortable about playing through with that information picked up, although he has been spotted. And by that cam, and now Brody's position becomes important. Can he get Standing info ahead. at nothing else? Cyber can jump into, he's not going to get any info that the place, but his teammate falling into the fight. Cray runs right into it, and he gets caught. He's caught out in the process. He's even dedicating the toxic screen in order to sneak by. So maybe, if Tens are aware of this, they might be able to punish it a bit more. Yeah, at least with the neural tech, he, he was always confirmed that he could cross there. So, felt comfortable about doing it. Pushing forward, good ultimate combo. They put the spike down. Now it becomes a two versus three. And then Star look for the retake. The Bloodstorm let loose, but the knife did not connect. Suddenly, this is looking good for Trex, but unfortunately for him, up against the Sheriff, on to Cold Menta, having to do it alone. One versus two. He's found the first, and now he's in the track with the opponent, Apolvi. Comes through for the. Yeah. But it no might be the other side that gets hit at this point. Hunter Fury is going to be used on the attack. The tag coming in and managing to try and connect onto Kray. The kill is confirmed. Now Dovey, yet again, is stuck in a position where he could be hit from two different places. And he just can't hold on in these spots. He's left completely alone. Oh, well, safe. Pushing forward, Trice. Already taking Brody out of play, which... Really, doing Paul for you. Alerts the remaining attackers to the location of that operator that they would love to snap away. XMS trying to keep his teammate alive. Trex so bloodthirsty, hunt down the operator. Just cannot find it as Paul be desperately trying to hold on, but even with getting flanked by Russ, it is Leo that picks up very heavy numbers retake scenario. Might even be a 5v5 for this retake. Certainly looking so. 10 start. They gotta pull this one off. Slow approach as we've been seeing and expected from them so far. Bobby's the one that's trying to make his way in and all command is used and the Hunter's Fury no command combo is at least able to get one but safe with this up on the attack. Still playing in on the site. Leo's there trying to help. The recon does oh. give him up and Doma goes for that. All of these abilities suppressed. The Chaos finding so much success but still time's on the ball. Yeah, and Doma trying to move forward again this time. We'll start to take the defuse has been tapped, but he cannot be stuck. As Trex swings into the open, Simon's a pitch swings out for a headshot. Lovely kill. That might not for that. It has just done it. It's got the round wing. Guild will pull it through. Six on the board. Only position you can really pin, right? If you practice all of your official or turn games with the same players in your position, it's so hard, but you want at least to try and shift that off and use a quicker rotation. But right now, this 3v3, exactly. at least Craig's been able to dish out two picks. And Neural Theft has come in, revealing the remaining positions of all of the 10-star players. And Guild haven't yet put that spike down, so they're just taking their time. Safe has been damaged up to four. This could very easily be around for 10-star. Mid-shot for Polvi, though. Camera's actually not been destroyed, so Trex has a bit of information to work with when people get close. Safe does have the Blade Storm if he wants to try and use it, but Leo on this... Pretty late lurk to catch in behind onto 10 star. Finds so much success. Getting it provides Trex a bit more free to try to get the plant in. And Brody, using the recon dart to try and take that double dose control back, gets Last caught by the camera. Standing. Leo's on the move again. Uh, safe. Just easily, even on 4 HP, is able to dish out damage. There's just one player left. Brody trying to figure out how he can exit this triangle of death. And again, Tenstar wanted to try and take this mid space. Happy to play off of the site, certainly on A. Cold Immense knows this, he's watching, and he's still easy for him to get those two kills. Drone, trailblazer forward. 
Toxic screen up now to really lock things in. And we're starting to look at Guild even cutting off rotation paths from the remaining three players of 10 start. Dropping down Brody. Guiding right through with a peek forward. And Leo is the full aggressive, just so confident. And this is One what we started to see from Guild over on Vine. Ah. Leo through with the Hunter Shuri brings down Paul Vitoma out of play as well. Comes through with the Blade Storm. And the two man advantage in play for Guild right now. We're gonna just try and hold this through for 10 rounds. Again, just once they lock in the site, their post plant setups are just immediately so good. <laughs> it's so hard to see 10 star getting back into this one. And oh, it's a lovely little shot from the boy. Brody down up on top of the Viper's pick. Couldn't quite do much about it. And Exomat's down to Leo's three cam will spot out the ensuing attack of 10 star in towards B, but they actually have to go on towards the site, and that spike will go down. Still doesn't matter though, safe with the sheriff in hand this again. time is yeah, he's the one that's finding these kills and the tricks. Isn't afraid to go try to take out Paul V and Paul V in this corner completely isolated. Finds two on both of the corners. Gonna peek through, finds safe. Let's see how these two jets fuel it out at this point. And the chip damage is more going in favor. Kraken shuts that down nicely, but Guild is still incrementally making their way forward and brought this down to a two versus three. Well, Poison Orb up to try and pull through the defuse called the Mentor. It really is his last shot, and he's sticking it. Oh, the shock dart. Get up and just watch towards mid and A. Because of that, 10 star haven't really got a clear, obvious way into this site. Tried to use the, the zero point, not really getting all that much. Suppress is safe. But he's still got his gun, and he can do a lot of wonders with that. And Seth is going to try and make his way through the toxic screen. And suddenly it is all on Cray. He comes to the double towards, they're not looking this way, and suddenly they look back. Call to Mentor. Now Cray has to get towards the fight with eight seconds left, and Trex just doesn't go to Ill. He finally gets to move forward. After that deep fright, time and time again on Bind, they've got to do it this time versus five. As Russ is just trying to find the edge of that Viper's pit. Prey is the first player to find a kill in this round. And suddenly, the Viper has been spotted, exactly. but Russ cannot bring down XMS. And that might just give a huge chance oh, wow. here. Two tenths are, and it's XMS who's tripled up. There's one player left in the form of Leo and Paul. Oh. Already called the men's dead. Big by the no command coming through. But the Cypher's not on site, so these tripwise are still good to go. What, 10 stars? Certainly finding a lot of success early on here with the pigs. 10 star have everybody up now, back to their feet, ready for battle. Suddenly a kill again for Paul V. As we look to two left on Guild, it's not really looking like that same potent retake attempt strategy that we've seen time and time again for them. They're even liable to a flank now from mid, as Leo's getting shot from all angles, and it's Doma the 10 as he executes from 10 star. Toxic screen up, recombo connecting on the right, forcing him back into the arches. Luckily, will dodge the shots of the operator, but that spike will go down. And once again, a five versus five retake having to happen here for Gil. Look at this timing, look at that. <laughs> yeah, Cray, Brody, everybody stringing up these kills. That tunnel push that was coming in from Gil, not really that great, but Leo suddenly brings it back into a one versus one. Does he know that XMS is still over there? He has a good inkling, has the lineup and the idea, but XMS was... They still fall into the pros and cons that we know, which is... They can either get battered or do the battering. Now we'll see if they get battered in this round. Finn has started off the round with a kill. Leo is Hunter's Fury. He gets the second, and there's yet to be a trade kill. Look at this from Sid. He really does not live up to his name that often. Risky fly through the top six screen. It's Cray on the double gets caught. Placing down the kids of gun in hand. You don't exactly want to be losing it too often. Yeah, but that's almost like the game plan it feels for safe, that that's what the team not so much is built around, but it's kind of what they expect safe to do. There's sometimes that you have jets that are a bit more... There's nothing wrong with those. No, because it's not stupid on. by any stretch. It is just mental. Calculated. Yeah. Russian. At least that's what they want you to believe. But Calculated Colby. insanity. Yeah, calculated insanity. That, that the really best position there is... Incredible, but it looks like it might just be potential closure. At least it is a final attack into the B side Five coming through from 10 feet. star in a like long time just to get back into this round. And especially with Leo now taking down Brody, it's just Paul V, and he is down as 